Hey everybody, my name is Gatamon, welcome back for a new series, a micro series possibly, I'm not sure. It's a free game. I saw it on stream, uh, on Steam, I was, uh, I just finished playing Mount and Best Month Ever, boys. And I was looking for games to play, possibly for you guys, any random games, anything. Uh, and then I saw this game. It's actually free. I don't know, it says prologue though, so I'm not sure if it's a beta or whatever, but... It sounds like a fun game, a fun type of game where we can make all sorts of stupid decisions. Uh, you can see the type of person. It's a lot like Suzerain, it's the same type, but it's basically called I Am Your President. You can already tell uh, what type of game this is. It's a strategy game. Uh, you get to play as the former president of the United States or something, and you get to make decisions and shape up your country. So. I love doing that. I actually like doing those types of things. I've already done it with Suzerain, but I kind of messed up that time uh, when I played with Suzerain. I messed up big time uh, because nobody wanted to vote for my stuff. But now we're actually the president, so we can probably do whatever we want. We'll see how it goes, boys. Um, it's going to be interesting. I don't actually know what this game, how this game works. I just know the premise of it. So we'll try it out, see if there's anything interesting about it. If if it's any good, we're gonna go to settings, uh, graphics, half, texture, uh, texture chart, uh, full, full quality, boys. I've got the PC for it. So VSync, window mode, uh, resolution, running background, yes, uh, sound, master volume, sound effects, music. Bring the music up a little bit, boys. There we go. Bring the music up, sound effects as well. And user interface uh, interface as well. But let's bring the music up because I want music on my stuff, boys. So uh, let's do a new game. See how things go, boys. I'm not too sure how, um, how we are supposed to do. So 40 years ago, Boston, uh, Massachusetts. You're a lawyer. It's official. You celebrate uh, the graduation with your mother who's been paying your tuition uh, fees for years. This is a nice restaurant and you can already smell your uh, dinner. A light scent of mushroom soup uh, fills the air. Congratulations, my boy, says your mom, deeply touched. All right. It's a lot like Suzerain. Already you can see it's a lot like Suzerain, the way it's done. Uh, you hold the diploma in your hands. There are several things written on this piece of paper. Some posh nonsense, Harvard sentences, and your whole future. You don't want it. Yet you feel sick saying so. Mom, I have to. I have something to tell you. Thank you. I guess, you know, I have something to tell you. Uh, this lawyer business is not for me. There we go. Mom starts to nervously fold the tissue. Her fingers are quivering. It makes you angry, and sad at the same time. What's wrong, son? She finally asks. I am not going to become a lawyer. I'm going to become something much better. And she said, uh, told me why I want to change the world, make an impact, decide. So a, la a year later, you make your first decision and become a party member. Yeah, that's always how you use. Uh, it's done. 20 years ago in Philadelphia, okay. It's your birthday and your mother hasn't called you yet. One is nasty. Politicians around you uh, keep babbling. Your wife is standing by your side. Honey, can we go home? Uh, she says. You do not sense a question mark. Okay. So uh, we're basically moving on in the years. So I'm guessing. Okay. Uh, I'm networking. I can't. Not this again. This is my job. Remember? You know what? I'm networking. I can't. I'm going to be honest with this. She looks at you very resent uh, resentment in your eyes. I am tired of you, she says. So am I, you reply instinctively. <laughs> it's the last time you agree with each other. Okay. All right, so you are now divorced. This went south real quick. Well, she definitely wasn't the right one. If she's not able to uh, help me out during my tough times, she's, uh, she's a bad influence. Uh, time drags by as if it was dripping from a broken tap. You became prominent, a prominent politician, and yet, yeah, uh, yet here you are, staring in the mirror. Wondering what went wrong, chewing on your own hand, uh, words. You were about to change the world. And who cares if I have a wife or not, boys? I've got to, I'm gonna be the president. Apparently, you have to change yourself first. 
You cut your hair. That's a hedgy stuff to do. You buy yourself a... I'm buying myself my new, our new car. Fuck my hair, man. I'm gonna stay a hippie all my life. It doesn't matter. And just after that, you make a decision. You will run for presidency. There it is. Four years ago, you are president. All right, let's do it. Let's find out, boys. It's official. Your mother calls you uh, soon after the inauguration. You haven't heard from her in years. I'm sorry, she says with a tremble in your voice. Congratulations, my boy. Don't be, mother. I'm just going to say thank you. There I go. You press the phone to hear you so hard, uh, uh, to your hear so hard that it gets sweaty. But your mother hangs up, apparently unable to utter a word. That is your last uh, conversation before she passes away? Really? Man, we having, we're having a sad life. Uh, there goes two years ago, okay. You're making a lot of difficult choices impacting the world. The highlight of your presidency is... Preventing the terrorist attack and saving hundreds of lives? Or establishing a new law supporting simple parents? There's not much we can do about terrorists, to be honest. Uh, I, that's more of an international thing. That's an in, uh, in national thing. We're going to do a national thing and support single parents, boys. Not, lo not a lot that we can do about terrorists, to be honest. They're always going to be there. So let's not bother too much about that. Let's go internally. Uh, uh, internal affairs, boys, instead of, uh, instead of inter uh, international. Uh, people congratulate you, but you're not satisfied. Not yet. You want to be remembered as... The most persistent president, the most righteous, the most persistent. There it is. There's so much to be done. All right, so four, uh, four years uh, passed by, by so quickly. You are tired, but craved for more. You simply know that, it's, that this cannot be the end. You decide to re uh, run for another re-election, of course. Uh, which would be my last, because in the United States, it's only two terms. Anybody else, anywhere else in the world, though, it's... It's unlimited terms. For some reason, in the United States, it's not. Uh, this is uh, this is still your story, and you have to keep it going. Next year, new start. Let's get on with it. All right, there it is. This is the official game we're in, boys. So, dear Mr. President, first of all, I want to wish you happy New Year. Secondly, I'm leaving this card here to remind you about the urgent matters in regards to this year's election. You have to be careful when it comes to making choices, and yet the most crucial aspect is our rating system. We must make sure that we win uh, the second term, all right? Now, whoever wrote this note to me, whoever's in charge of writing this note should be fired right away. That's my first thing to do, because this is horrible. Whoever wrote like that needs to be fired, right, uh, boys. It's... It's a really bad handwriting. It's just absolutely atrocious. All right, uh, I'll keep. I will keep my finger on the pulse and send people to remind you all about this stuff when the time, right time comes. It's um, uh, it's almost midnight as I'm writing this, so you will probably see this message on January the first. Uh, we'll see you at work in the new, uh, in new, hopefully, a better year. Okay. So the vice president can't write for shit, I guess. Uh, I guess he, he doesn't know how to write properly. All right, so st statistic. Let's see how this all works. Uh, they reflect the overall conditions of the U.S. and cons uh, consequently how good of a job you are doing. They change with your every decision. You, so pay attention to these areas. Society, politics, industry, economy, military, and diplomacy. All right, as reaching zero will have you leaving the Oval Office very prematurely. So we don't want to be at zero with any of those, okay? On top of that, overcoming certain scenarios might require you to maintain an adequate level of statistics. Got you. All right, so we've got the Oval Office, boys. Look at that. We've got my phone. We've got everything. Action points. So spend on the world map. Project Arts. Okay, and everything. News. Uh, so this is the news. Cabinet. And everything. Alright, so first thing we want to see, boys. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff right now going on. Um, 
I think world map take a go a global action or can't do anything quest traits what is the traits I don't have any melt box I don't have any uh, we do have news world news uh, hopes consumed by fire on the New Year's Eve in Oklahoma so uh, use shitty uh, citywide fire going on anything else I need to see okay so I needed to read that so uh, there were 300 fires blah 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 so there's a big fire going on all right so we got uh, mr. Washington in here looking at us we got uh, Lincoln in here it's a bunch of random pictures as well all right so we do have my f uh, my laptop also we don't have anything yesterday I was standing right there while watching a fireworks show okay what do I do with I go there I'm gonna go look at there so what do we do here recycle bin password provide secret password retaliant photos the fuck is that what does that even mean boys are we part of the Illuminati or something retaliant photos uh, let me look uh, there's okay so the trash is empty uh, one two three four I guess login denied okay it's not one two three four boys I'm not sure what the password could be uh, well I will find out eventually I guess so let's log out and let's go here I guess let's do that so dialogues already right, we go so that's the first person to interact with us time to talk with uh, but be careful with your decisions you can see how your comments impact the country be on the lookout for hints that will help you make the right choices all right let's find out what's the uh, first thing chief of staff all right so happy and new year how are you doing uh, I have just read the exact same thing uh, happy new year to you too yeah yes we need to get down to work no happy new year as well let's do this all right so thank you sir I am honestly I honestly hope it will be good anyway to cut the to the chase this year is essential so I thought that we should prepare a plan all right so uh, he's my chief of staff which means it's a military uh, what kind of plan uh, yeah the re-election in this kind of crap I'm not gonna talk like that uh, are you talking about the presidential campaign exactly it's been going on for some time but we know uh, but now we really need to focus on the most important parts all right so uh, new year and so much work to do I'm pretty sure uh, of who I am uh, who I am I'm capable of I'll decide for myself all right so what do so what do our experts say about this what do they have to say uh, you know how it is depends on which experts you ask what do uh, the answer you are looking for is hidden within our ratings I'm keeping track of them so that we know in which area we're doing fine and which has to be improved okay uh, what if I, what happens if I fell I don't care okay so what are we uh, what are these hot buttons issues uh, uh, that our people are interested in well one issue that be, that's been going uh, gaining traction is the question of climate changing of course well we're living in the United States so obviously climate change is a fake news so it's not a real thing boys we're not in Canada we're in the United States so fake news uh, both in the context of the US and the Italian world to be honest yeah exactly uh, secondly more and more Americans seems to be personally interested in traditional administrative issues I'm talking about uh, everything about from immigration control to inf uh, inflation taxation yeah that's what Americans always think about uh, not that surprising considering we uh, what we went through in 2008 I'm not too sure what went through in 2008 but okay uh, lastly there uh, there's a terminal question of our role as a military superpower people are getting anxious about the status quo and as world peace seems somewhat less attainable a uh, status quo is not gonna be my thing I'm more of a Theodore Roosevelt in that perspective where I'm gonna go full-on military action boys if uh, a certain Russian neighbor decides to do some bad stuff I'll go on their ass I am NOT gonna be scared boys I will do it uh, I'm gonna be that type of person all right I'm not gonna sit down and uh, wait for things to happen so uh, a lot uh, that's a lot of process all right so I've made up my mind let's hear it okay so I liked my uh, administration to be remembered for taking strong stance regarding climate change I don't give a fuck about climate change boys I really don't uh, 
I think so it's telling you what goes up and down it doesn't really tell you what's gonna change much but uh, this is uh, a track and flow of good services otherwise we might never attain real prosperity so, so this is good for economics and politics uh, we want to be a safe and stable country we need to modernize our approach to warfare uh, warfare is good diplomacy yeah I think diplomacy and military boys I think that's the way to go that should be our focus we should be we are the democracy of the world so we need to protect the world boys at all costs so that's an excellent way to put it i'm sure that's a long uh, that i'm sure that as long as we put a forward clear message and demonstrate some degree of success uh we're going to have all the support we ever need okay so how do we get uh, go off pulling this off all right so cool since that's it all let me uh let me be Good. And the meeting, he's gone, boys. I like how it's literally just a cardboard. Featured on not investment project unlocked. Let me find out. So there's a uh, project I can unlock. There's a mailbox right here. Uh, this is the secretary, the uh, uh, director of presidential personnel. Okay, so we have just learned that your secretary is pregnant with quadruplets, and we're in the process of looking for a suitable replacement. I apologize for this inconvenience. This level of personal rotation is quite unprecedented. Okay. So, uh, my former secretary, I guess for now she's pregnant. She's going to be on vacation. Okay. Got you. Let me find out about that project, boys. I want to see what this is all about. So, uh, we've got this. I don't care. I'm just going to find out for myself. So, prologue. Climate, commerce, and conflict. So, log due to narrative choices. Play again to try a different path. Let me find out. Okay, so over here, conflict. So we got options here. War to save life. Real-time strategy. Threat elimination. What is this? So we don't have enough AP for that. Not enough points. And we don't have enough for that either. So we got to start with this. Uh, teach the machine to uh, uh, the art of war and analyze the outcomes of potential military skirmishes. So we're basically training. Uh, I'm going to do that. So, uh, you will activate these projects, real-time strategy, we're gonna do that. We're playing Arts of Iron 4, boys, that's gonna help us make some decisions, so there we go. So, I've activated this, that's a project that's been, uh, that's in the midst, so we're currently working on that. We only have 20 points, though. I think this is the end of the day, so let's just keep a move on. Do we have anything else? Absolutely not, so let's keep a, let's keep a move on, let's go into the next day, boys. Beautiful beginnings, 395 days to until the election. All right, let's continue, boys. So, uh, next day, new article. All right, so every time we do this, this is going to be a new dude that's going to come talk to us. I want to see the news, so let's see what. Oldest turtle on the planet starts swearing. What the hell? Josh, 202 years old. Well, I live on the night of uh, St. Elena on the South Atlantic since uh, 1874. Never commented on anything that happened around him. But last Friday, that changed. While eating a carrot and being photographed and recorded by an uh, uh, usual flock of bloggers and influ influencers from around the globe, Josh tilted his head a bit, dropped his carrot, and then quite, uh, quite clearly said the word shit. <laughs> That's kind of funny, boys. That's funny. By the way, it was the first uh, word ever pronounced by any one of his species. Sadly, soon after that, Josh died. Probably not even knowing that he left us forever wondering what would he say next. That's kind of funny. That's absolutely ridiculous, boys, and funny at the same time. I love it. Uh, we have another project we can do. Uh, we can do one of these. I really want to move in. But before we do any other projects, I kind of want to see, like, what, if there's any other things we could possibly do. Uh, so before we do anything, boys, I'm actually going to, because we're upgrading our military right now, but I want to see, uh, we got a little budget, actually. I want to see what's our next uh, thing, what's going on next. So who are you? You look pretty young, actually. Uh, there's something I'd like to discuss. Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff looks really young boys I don't know I uh, certainly I'm all ears 
We're both busy, so I'll get straight to the point. China is once again trying to pressure and intimidate Taiwan. They're constructing a number of nuclear silos in Fujian province and deliberately doing nothing to hide it. Are they trying to start a third world war or something? Okay. Yeah. This is bad. We gotta, pay pre we, we gotta prevent China from doing anything bad, boys. Chinese? We gotta stop them. My best guess is that Chinese are, uh, are just posturing and trying to test the waters. I've been in contact with Taiwanese uh, military agency uh, and sh they share my intuition. We even come up with a way to take China down a peg. Alright, how do we do that? We're going to shoot Taiwan with five of our intercontinental missiles. Uh, excuse me? Don't we research? They're already uh, they're going to be notified beforehand. So their their anti-missiles defense system perfectly intercepts all threat, sending a clear message to China that Taiwan is not an easy target. What the fuck are you talking about? That's clearly dumb and stupid at the same time. That is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life. You should be fired on the spot. You just ask me to missile to put some missiles on Taiwan. What happens if it goes sideways and I actually kill them? The fuck is wrong with you? What if this, their entire missile system fell? Exactly. Impossible, sir. How can you be that sure? I was the one to set it to them several years ago. Sure. And you're sure that you're not doing a bad business? Okay. I take it that your approval of this plan. Are we getting anything in return for expanding our military resources? Exactly. What do we get here? Well, for starters, we get to maintain a close ally right under China's nose. I guess if we too wanted to display strength, we could get them to return the favor and nuke us, nuke us back. Sort of like a joint military exercise. Though I don't think that American pacifists would like that very much. Let's just nuke everybody right off the bat. Like, what the fuck is this? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, all right? All right, anyway, that's all I have to say in this regard. I'll leave you there that short. All right, thank you. That, what type of bullshit is that? All right, so this is the world events, I guess. So the world keeps changing and you have to keep up. Keep the jump event button to highlight the tag. Okay, so read the description. So we've got something in Taiwan going on. Um, this is absolutely ridiculous. Open event window. All right, so let's do that. Taiwan's request. So uh, faced with nuclear threats from China, Taiwan needs to display their defensive capabilities. And they need US help to do so. Launch, enter, uh, launch the missiles. Launch missiles and sell them some nukes so that they can retaliate. That's more economics. Minus, uh, minus of that, the society. Yeah, um, or do not intervene. You can, you can change your mind before ending the day. I feel like this is bad. If, if it goes south and I actually end up nuking them by accident, the whole world's gonna be up on my ass. They're all gonna try and nuke me back, boys. I wanna ch stick it to the Chinese, but that's not the way to go about it. That's really not. You know what? We're gonna launch the missiles, but we're also gonna sell them some nukes. So we're gonna be heavy on it. We're gonna full be. We're gonna go big dick on that one. Big stick. Uh, big dick uh, diplomacy, boys. There we go. We did it. So we launched the missiles. Boom, boom, boom. It's done. Aftermath. Nuclear deals result in fireworks show of a lifetime. There we go. Breaking news. All decisions have consequences. All right. So, uh, we did it. We did. Uh, we did. We launched the missiles back to, uh, back and forth. We send them some missiles at the same time. Let's see what the world thinks about this, boys. All right, so uh, you mean, yo, man, I see you're selling the car you brought after you, you brought after you and your wife split it for good. I can't say I know. Uh, I know the feel uh, all too well, bro. By the way, uh, that car looks hella shitty and rusted, so I can pay no more than two G's for it. How uh, how it gonna be? His name is Trevor. First off. Can you write properly? You're writing to the... You're literally writing to the president. Let me reply this. Toxic. Mean as hell. Agreeable. Let's, do, let's just be agreeable. Dear Trevor, I know that the car is more than a decade old, but I bought it in a difficult time. 
after me and my ex got divorced, as you know this, so it has a lot of sentimental value and I love it as much as my own child. 5G is the absolute lowest for me at this point. Sorry to disappoint you. I'm, I'm not gonna send that. Let's see what he replies. 5G is good. Sorry if your wife uh, dipped. So happy to finally buy that car. All right, all the best. So I got 5G from that, boys. Good. Five, uh, five, mil, uh, five billion, I believe that is. Let's look at the world map really quick again. There's something going on. So what does the world map think of that? Because uh, Taiwan, we don't have anything. China either. The world map is fine. Got it. Uh, traits, all of this. We don't have any news, right? Nope, not new, not any news. We do have the projects right here, so... We just did that, uh, climate commerce conflict, so... We just did that thing, that was uh, definitely interesting. We're plus 10 in both of these, on politics and uh, on this. Uh, threat elimination, so that... Threat elimination would bring us down, though. It's either one of those two, so... We have to do either war to save life or threat elimination. Uh, instantly sift uh, to, uh, through intel to inst intensify war efforts and preci precisely take out the key enemy targets worldwide. Or we do this, which would help uh, bring down the economy, but uh, it would be both soldier US and local civilian population. So uh, minimize the loss of life. I think that's the best thing to do, to be honest. Minimize the loss of life during the wars, boys. I think we're gonna do that. Uh, let's do that. Now, our economy is going down because of that, but everything up, everything else going pretty up and our military is doing pretty good right now. So it's just our economy is going actually down. So that's just what we gotta keep an eye on. It's actually min doing a minus every day, so. What's the next guy that's gonna talk to us right now? What's the next thing? Uh, it's been two weeks since the new year. Are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, terrible. I have. Uh, I hate winter. Well, so far so good. I have a thing. This is gonna be a good, wonderful year. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, have you uh, made any New Year's resolution? I've just been thinking about it. Nah, my what now? New Year's resolutions a must. Keeping them though. Uh, it's a complete different story, but it's crucial to have some good goals, okay? I would love to have a clear goal. I think I'm just too lazy for that. You know what? Uh, I'm just too lazy for that. Forget about it. I used to think the same, but th uh, then I realized that our mean politicians' resolutions are a bit different. Uh, you see that uh, they make an impact uh, not only on us, but the entire world, okay? Uh, thank you, I'll pass. I'll pass. I'm not gonna make any resolutions, boys. I think that's kind of dumb, to be honest. I think, uh, making you, you... I think you are what you, uh, how you act, right? You, whatever your decisions you make, that's who you are. So I don't think that making any uh, resolutions is gonna do anything. It's like promises. Don't make any promises. Just do what you do. Uh, so... Uh, I won't push you to do something you don't like. Uh, I don't want to keep you busy. So, uh, wait, what is our... No, so goodbye, I guess. All right, so that that led to nothing, really. That was just for that, just for to, to, for us to have a resolution. Okay. So military exercise controversies. So while most eyes are drawn to the missiles passing above the Earth's surface, some remain more interested by what's happening underneath. Extravagant U.S. military spending is nothing new. However, seeing another country being dragged into it is unusual to say the least. Sorry about my dog in the back. Especially Taiwan, which is in this particular known for its nuclear arsenal. By the way, giving rise to speculation about some deeper military entanglement between the small island and the United States. On top of that, many Americans felt betrayed after learning that they've been unknowingly dragged into such a reckless scheme. What if our defenses fail, <laughs> or a human error caused a fatal miscalculation? Thank God we'll never know. Well, I was confident that this wouldn't happen, I guess. So, okay, I, I gotta go step out my dog. Hold on. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna end the day off. Don't have anything else. I still don't know about that retellium photos things, though. I'm kind of uh, flipping out a little bit. I do wonder what this is all about, boys. But let's end the second day. 
Uh, do you want to build a snowman? Okay. Is the next thing. 289 uh, days left. This game is going to be fun, boys. The ridiculousness of actions. I'm going to do a snowstorm. Okay, so the big snowstorm uh, going on for all stats is minus 15. Holy shit. So, uh, future in which the United States uh, uh, is absolutely uncontested. As well as the potential obstacles down this road. So, we're going to do the global domination plan, boys. Right off the bat. Uh, can we keep it? We can't. Do I have to do both things? Okay, so I, I'm not sure if I have to do both things. But first, we're going to... Uh, uh, we're gonna wait a little bit. I, I wonder, do I need to do this? I can't, so... I do, I have to do the military footholds thing first. Okay, got you. So I gotta have an event or some sort before that. That's not even George Washington. That was Thomas Jefferson. Never mind. My bad, boys. I said George Washington in the beginning. That's actually J uh, Jefferson. Alright. So, there's nothing else for us to do right now except for... Wait, there's a... There's a thing here. What's this? Oh, okay, that's the world. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and end the video right here, boys. Uh, we're going to continue our presidency in the next uh, video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy this one. Keep it easy.